this vlog is going to be about the difference between the fall semester and the spring semester in the Disney College program. So the main difference that I can see, um, other than like busyness, is the special events that they have going on during both semesters. I guess I'll address the busyness first. During the fall semester, which is the semester that I attended, they aren't really busy through most of the beginning. Like the semester starts like August, August, September, October, November, and December, and a little bit of January. They normally don't get really busy until like December, really. Like um, they're 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 busy during like the Thanksgiving week. But other than that, November is not really busy. December, it's just like insane. It's a little crazy during like the first week of January. That's pretty much the fall semester, and then the spring semester is mid January, February, March. April and then May. During that semester they are busy during the spring break time. My spring break is earlier. Um, ours is normally March so I guess like normally it would be in April. Then like they get kind of busier closer to the summer. And then the summer they're they're busy. I don't know if there's like a certain month during the summer that they're more busier than other times. I had friends who did the spring or did the advantages programs which the advantage programs basically just adds summer to your semester and he said that it was it was kind of busy but still nowhere near as busy as Christmas time so that's pretty much like the business aspect like how busy busy it is now for the events that are going on I chose the fall semester because of the special events but I had no idea um, how many more events were, went on during the fall some of these events may be out of order but this is like pretty much all within the fall semester if you choose the fall these are the different events that will be going on that you can attend or you may have to work while you're down there. September they have the Night of Joy which is like uh, a two-day uh, Christian concert event that takes place in Magic Kingdom. I thought it was really cool. October they have um, Halloween, uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Party and um, that's pretty cool. That takes place pretty much all of October and I think a little bit into September as well. I had to work that most of October, but it was a lot of fun. They also have, this is new, it's the Tower of Terror Halloween run, um, and it takes place at Hollywood Studios. I don't remember the exact date for that, I believe it's in October, but it's pretty much like, um, it's kind of like a 5k and you run, um, it's like a, just a haunted like race type thing, and it's really cool. Then they have the Food and Wine Festival slash concert series, which takes place, I believe, I could be wrong, I believe it takes place in October. I attended it in November, and they have um, a bunch of different like artists that come perform um, at Epcot, and the event takes place at Epcot. If you haven't done it before and you like trying new foods, this is definitely something that you'll want to go and do. I, I normally don't like trying new foods, but I w wanted to you know, try to attempt to do that, and I had a really good time. They also have the Downtown Art Show which is called the Festivals of Masters and it's like they show a lot of, have a lot of artists that display their artwork and they also have like face painting and other arts and crafts type things um, it's kind of like a family event but like it's I mean I believe it's a free event and it's a downtown Disney so um, if you have any family or friends in the area they can go and attend it too if they can't afford park admissions then they have the uh, Very Merry Christmas Party and um, that takes place in, I believe it's the end of November. Yeah, they even had the other parks too. Around Christmas time, all of the parks, doesn't matter what it is, every single park gets decked out in Christmas decorations. And all of them have different little Christmas type shows or just like Christmas music. And like about around the time of the end of November till like, till the new year, it's just Christmas, 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 Christmas everywhere. And I love Christmas, and so I was just, like, eating it all up. I just loved it so much. And then they have, um, at uh, Hollywood Studios, they have the Osborne Spectacle of Dancing Lights. That's really cool. The Candlelight Processional at Epcot, which is, like, the Stella... St 
the telling of the Christmas story, and they normally have some sort of um, celebrity that comes and reads it, and they have like a full choir that sings songs. It's really cool. And at Epcot, they also have holidays around the world. Um, this is kind of like one of those things where it's you have fun and learn at the same time, because uh, you can go around and check out all the different countries and hear the different storytellers that tell the story of Christmas and kind of learn how every single country celebrates Christmas. I thought it was really cool. They have a couple of New Year's uh, celebrations that you can uh, get to see. It's only for like two days. Yeah, the fall semester. If you're doing the fall semester and you stay for New Year's, then you'd get to experience that. Now the spring semester. They have the Walt Disney World Half Marathon and they also have the Princess Half Marathon. All of the Disney races have the option of having a 5k too, so if you want to participate and you don't want to like run that fat much, then you can have that option as well. And the Walt Disney Marathon is in January and the Princess one is in February. And they had the Flower Garden Festival. Um, the first time I actually attended Walt Disney World, this was going on, and they have a lot of really cool, um, like, plants and things at the parks. Um, I believe it's more at Epcot than anything else, but they have, like, flowers everywhere, and it's really, really pretty, and they have flowers that look like the different Disney characters, and so that's really cool. Then they also have Star Wars Weekends, which is in May, um, May and June. Um, it's every single weekend in end of May and the beginning of June. As far as I know, that's all that goes on during the spring. Spring is kind of boring in my opinion, at least compared to the fall. And so I'm kind of bummed out that I'm doing spring, but I've never done the spring program. So, you know, I guess it'll be a, I'll be able to say that I covered everything. And then the summer. In the summer they have the Expedition Everest challenge, which is actually, it's a 5k, but it's an obstacle course. So that's kind of cool. That takes place in May. And then they have um, summer concerts that go on all throughout the summer. I think the entire reason why they have so much going on in the fall is because they're trying to bring in more guests during their non-busy season, which is, I believe, from like August until November, which is why they have so much going on during that small period of time. But I'm um, like, yeah, if you guys are going to do the fall this this fall, um, you guys are going to have a total blast. Definitely, you're going to want to do at least half of what I said on that list. I did almost everything on that list and I love every single one of those things were like even if I thought I wasn't gonna enjoy it, I enjoyed it. It was so much fun. Especially the um the cast previews that they have for the Mickey's Not So Scary Party and the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, you're going to want to go to the cast previews because especially the Christmas one because it's basically two to th two hours of just getting to hang out on Main Street and it's just cast members and it feels like you have the entire park to yourself because it's just you and a bunch of like CP and other cast members normally CPs go to this event because it's late at night and it's it's just for you guys it was so much fun go by yourself or go with a group of friends if you go with a group of friends it's gonna be ten times more fun if you go by yourself it's still gonna be fun I did the Halloween preview by myself and I still had a blast anyway sorry this vlog is late my dad's birthday was this weekend, so we kind of had a crazy weekend. I only have two more vlogs left because I'm going to be starting college very, very soon. So um, stay tuned for those. Um, I don't have a whole lot like of information left. So in, so if you have any ideas for vlogs, go ahead and send them to me. Um, thank you for tuning in to the Q&A session. That was last week. That went really, really well. Hopefully, I will get to do another Q&A session this semester, um, but, like, it's my last semester in college, so I'm going to be really, really busy. So, yeah, anyway, um, I will see you real soon. Bye! And, um, hopefully I'll get to do one, um, like, this... Hopefully I'll get to do one this spring... Uh, hopefully I'll get to do one this...